Scorpio, what's going on with you? This is going to be a weekly reading from the 27th through the 3rd of December, ladies and gentlemen. We are nearing the end of the year, and these are exciting times. How are you doing, Scorpio? Typically, based on your previous readings, guys, you know, there's some fucking learning lessons to say the least. But based on your responses, you seem to be doing well. Or at least coping with these challenging times. But what's going on with you, Scorpio? In your life, from the 27th through the 3rd. What's going on with you within the proximity of this time, Scorpio? All right. <clears throat> Interesting. All right, you got, your set, you, got, you got your eyes set on gold, essentially, okay? You guys most certainly are are considering stability here. All right, I'm I'm wondering if you're in a relationship or whether this is just your own stability in regards to your own self. All right, in regards to your love life, what I'm seeing here is that it's could be at a stalemate, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so there's been a lot of contemplation regarding a relationship. There's been a lot of contemplation regarding an individual. Um, you know, just this could be your relationship in your love life, right? Your status in your love life, your singlehood, your, your basically motion in this department in your life. It's been a lot of contemplation, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm compelled to tell you that it is time to change it up a bit. All right, if you haven't been taking action towards it, it may be time to take action towards it. All right, if you're single and you haven't really been interacting, it may be time to interact. If, if you've been kind of distance toward, distant towards someone that you, you have an attraction towards, maybe it's time to spice things up. All right. Yes, yes. With the high priest here, the hierophant, essentially. Guys, I'm getting some very committal energy. All right. What, what's going on with you? Let's see what's going on. It could be dealing with a Capricorn. Nevertheless, I see you fix, fixated on an on something, on someone or something, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the devil energy. Ooh. All right. Now, with the three of swords being here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm seeing that you are, you have been hurt. You have been hurt, despite the fact that the Three of Swords in the, is in the future position, okay, which is a bit daunting and alarming, as that's where you're headed. I do see that this is not a new energy. This is something that's existent. All right, it's been existing for some time, Scorpio. This is something that you may be currently dealing with and is only continuing in the future, as a matter of fact. All right, now you are definitely engaged in a connection or at least cultivating a connection or just projecting your energy into a connection. I do see that the person that you're dealing with is doing the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, a massive sense of projection into the relationship with you. That's what I'm saying. Now there's a massive sense of invulnerability, ladies and gentlemen, whether it's coming from you or it's coming from your individual, I just see a lackage in just being absolutely open. All right, open and receiving, open and giving of your heart, essentially. All right, that's what I'm saying. Nevertheless, a relationship is a relationship that's been existent for some time is, is here. It's what is at hand. All right, so you're not dealing with a new relationship. You're dealing with something that already has a sense of history to it. And it seems as if it's been through the ringer. All right, it's been through the ringer. Nevertheless, you're wanting to cultivate something here. I get the sense that you're wanting to expand the relationship. You're wanting to move towards further solidifying a, a harmonious relationship that you may be in the midst of transforming. All right. I'm not saying that that's where you're at. I'm saying that that's where you want to be. Okay. That's what I'm getting the sense of. Why is the devil energy here? is on your in the conscious position ladies and gentlemen so whatever it is that you could be actively giving attention to can be robbing you of your own power essentially all right and what i'm saying will make further sense here in just a moment now this is actually not a negative attachment all right it could be obviously anything could be negative too much of water will fucking drown you right i mean not literally but but um it can it too much of anything good can be bad, right? Everything in moderation. So if you're wanting to fix a relationship, if you're fond of someone, there must be uh, at least a tad of, of desire there. You know what I mean? Uh, not a tad of obsession, but even just a minuscule amount of obsession can be good. 
You know, look at people that strive to be doctors. There's got to be, or professional athletes. There has to be a level of obsessiveness in regards to pursuing this fucking vast or this grand ambition. You know what I mean? But then again, like I said, too much to one side, then you cause an imbalance, ladies and gentlemen. People that devote themselves to just say an ambition in this sense, something too positive, they have to relinquish other things in their life. You know, many times... This can be devastating for a relationship. People that, people that are you know, fully immersed in careers that take up the majority of their time, for instance, military personnel or law enforcement personnel, they have a massive divorce rate, all right? Reason being is because that individual is just so engrossed in their career field that they neglect other aspects of their life. Well, there we go with the fucking lack of imbalance. But like I said, sometimes this imbalance, this tenacious, Leaning to one side is necessary to attain that which you desire, right? I'm basically just sublimating this devil energy that I see in your head and reason being is because I see that the energy You're attached to is actually rectifying something finding balance moving towards peace moving towards harmony You see the temperance is all about finding that harmony doing what's necessary implementing patience to attain what it is that you want, doing what is necessary, right? Now, the eight is all about moving on from obstructions that are in the way of this utter happiness, 10 of cups. That's where I see your head, all right? Now the question is, are you taking action towards that or is that just simply a desire, ladies and gentlemen, because that's what it seems like, all right? In regards to the challenge position, we got the hangman. So this is what needs to be overcome, the hangman. To me, this is stagnation, straight up, okay? Um, it could be it could be a lacking of understanding as well, but <clears throat> I get the sense Scorpio when I'm really since the beginning of the reading I get the sense that you are not projecting The true significance that you have to offer into the relationship For whatever reason guys. All right. I don't know why but that's what I'm getting here But why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? So, the hangman, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen, there's something here that is vexing you, all right? You could have had some sort of fallout, some sort of strife is in the midst of your energy, all right? Is in the midst of, of your own aura here, and it's something that you got to face within yourself, okay? And the reason why I say that is because we got two nines, and two nines are solitary energies, right? The nine of coins is that woman, that pre empress woman, right? Uh, the nine of cups is that individual that is... Uh, that by himself and just experiencing happiness. The Nine of Swords. This is a card again of someone just fucking suffering. The Nine, the Hermit, a solitary energy. All right, so there's a huge sense of diving within yourself that is needed, all right? You need to come to terms with something. If you're really wanting to transform this relationship, guys, there has to be some sort of shift within yourself, all right? There has to be some sort of paradigm shift. There needs to be, tra that is what you're needing to transform, okay? That, Transforming that energy, ladies and gentlemen, whatever may be vexing you, whatever may be triggering a sense of friction within you regarding this relationship or regarding your own emotional state is what needs to be transformed, all right? So long that you yourself are not the individual able to provide absolute love in a relationship, don't expect that from someone else, all right? Don't expect that from someone else. You have to embody that energy yourself. You give love, you're going to receive that love. You give shit, you're going to receive shit, ladies and gentlemen. All right? So I want to emphasize the, I want to emphasize that <clears throat> the work, you know, has to take place within. All right? And how does that happen? Well, every situation is different, ladies and gentlemen. They're different. And, and not that, not only are, are the problems, the internal problems that you guys are dealing with different between yourselves and me, between all of us, the way we cope with problems is different, all right? I can tell you <clears throat> the way I cope with it. I, I do physical activity, working out, doing shit like that, you know, doing some crazy shit. Um, you know, I used to do Ironman triathletes and, and I would just immerse myself in this insane, you know, breakage of boundaries, physical boundaries, and, and I would just grow from that, from pushing myself at a fucking, you know, high degree 
to some people that sounds torturous and they would never do something like that all right some people are more inclined towards the subtle um the subtle things like music you know tapping into their inner selves through that sense rather than physical exertion it's more so inter uh you know inner expression or inner projection right and and these things again whatever works for you is what you should move towards ladies and gentlemen all right now there's definitely ways to transform this inner energy and, and how do you do this is by basically self-love all right and how do you love yourself by actually enjoying yourself ladies and gentlemen all right? if you're a painter paint paint if you're a singer sing ladies and gentlemen if you're an athlete Go fucking work out. Impress yourself. Set goals and smash them. See growth within you. What can you do that will show you and prove to you progress in yourself? That progress will turn it into an addiction, into a positive addiction. Everything with moderation. Again, I quote. All right. You see progress in yourself, whether it's learning a new skill set or developing a current skill. Believe me. There's going to be a massive sense of happiness and gratitude, a boost in confidence in yourself, a boost in, in just seeing what, who you are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sitting down and remaining stagnant in who you are right now is not the way you want to go. Not the way you want to go. Do something different. Change it up. Crank it up, ladies and gentlemen. Crank that shit up. Whatever it is. All right. If it's your way of giving love, give love harder. All right. Yes. As a matter of fact, let's see. What's the advice here? <clears throat> I see you en engaging in a relationship. All right. I see someone here that is interested in you. However, there's this devil energy. There's the three of swords. There's some fucking emotions that you're not, you're not changing within yourself. Okay. <clears throat> what is the advice for Scorpio in this matter? What energy can Scorpio embody? What message can Scorpio hear that will facilitate them in that inner transformation? Which I see necessary for them. <clears throat> One more shot. Two of swords. Yes, yes, yes. Again, solitary energy. We got the nine of cups. Mind you, I did mention that the nine of cups is about that individual here that is simply just enjoying themselves. This is self-contentment. Contentment through the self, not contentment through your partner, not contentment to what someone's giving you. You're not seeking happiness outside yourself. You seek happiness within yourself. All right. Not until you turn that attention inward and cultivate that within yourself will you regain your own power, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That is what I'm seeing here. So... What I want to emphasize here is that you're dealing with someone here that is definitely moving towards you. This is a relationship that's been existent for some time. A relationship that seems to have had its run through the ringer, to say the least. However, you are wanting expansion. You're wanting openness. All right. This closeness, this invulnerability is not what you want, is what I'm seeing here. Okay. And the potential for this growth is there. You have it within your mind. You have it within your desires. You have it within your present reality ladies and gentlemen it's time to do something with it it's time to do something with it i'm going to go ahead and take this into the extended reading and i'm going to bore into this individual that you are dealing with what energy surrounds their thoughts feelings intentions towards you scorpio if this was your reading i will see you there otherwise i'll see you guys soon